everybody and welcome to Coastal Experts. And today we have back with us Teresa Cowart of Remax Accent. Thanks for joining us once again, Teresa. It's always great to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course, Teresa is our expert when it comes to buying and selling a home. And today we're talking about selling our home. And of course, it can be overwhelming when you think about it. But let me ask you this. When you, when you start the whole process of selling a home, I think a big question in everyone's mind, do you have to move out? Does the house have to be vacant when you're selling a home? No, absolutely not. I think that um, vacant homes sometimes appear very sterile. So a lot of people like to be able to envision how their furniture may fit into the home. And if they see your furniture in it, it helps them, um, especially in some, some floor plans are harder than others, um, especially if you have really nice things and it smells good, and it looks good, and, and they can feel themselves living there, it actually helps. Um, so uh, let me ask you this. What issues um, should you disclose and do you have to disclose everything during the home selling process? You don't, there's a seller's disclosure and it asks a lot of questions. Um, if it's on the seller's disclosure, yes, you have to answer it and yes, you have to be 100% truthful. Um, if you tell me or it's on that seller's disclosure, yeah, I have to disclose it. Um, little things that may or may not, you know, no. But if it's on the seller's disclosure, you have to answer and you have to answer honestly. Absolutely. So Teresa, what are your thoughts on home warranty? Is that something that we should provide during the selling process? I think that's a case by case situation because some homes have a warranty still. If they're a newer home, you may be able to transfer that. Um, some of the older homes, then yeah, you probably should provide that, but let them ask for it. Let the buyer's agent actually put that in the contract and ask for them. They usually run between four and six hundred dollars, um, and it does give the the buyer a certain level of comfort to have that. So there are some advantages. With sure, that. absolutely. But let that be a negotiating tool. Okay. So what about an open house? I I have a question where this is concerned. Is that something you're obligated to do? And would you suggest actually having an open house if you're looking to sell your home? Okay. So open houses can be really good. Or, or just a waste of time. It really depends on the neighborhood and the home. Some neighborhoods, um, they work really well mm -hmm. and people will come and they'll attend. It also depends on how much you advertise it in advance and get the word out. Um, but what really works well is realtor open houses. When we have the, the pre-showings for the realtors, those are, I would suggest that everybody does that that you let the realtors come preview your home. What about closing costs? Um, so we've sold the home and it gets down to the business portion and the contract negotiations and all of that. Who pays closing costs? And, and is that something that the seller always has to do, uh, pay closing costs? How does that work? Every, the buyer and the seller have closing costs that they're responsible for. Mm -hmm. The seller's closing costs that they're actually responsible for are not really that much quite frankly. The buyer bears the brunt of most of the closing cost. They really are mostly on their side. Um, the seller pays the commission. That's how, kind of how it works. And However, that's pretty much standard. Yes. However, yeah, because the seller hires the real estate agent to represent them and to market their home. Um, however, a lot of contracts come in with the, the buyer's agent asking or the buyer asking for the seller to pay part of their closing. And that's negotiation. Okay, so let's just say I have a home. It's ready to sell. I've made some improvements. Uh, it's ready to sell. You've come in. Um, we have everything ready to put it on the market. What kind of mar marketing strategies uh, are you going to use to sell my home? Once we have it staged, ready to go, we are going to do the professional photography. If it needs the, the drone aerial photos, we'll do that. Um, and then we are going to put, I am part of three MLSs. We always put it in all of them. Um, and then we market it online like crazy. That's what it's all about. So you turn the headache over to, to Teresa Cowart at mm -hmm. Remax Accent. And you know what? The selling process really can be easy and fun. Yes, absolutely. But absolutely. it's hard work for you guys. It can be a little challenging, but I love it. So it's really not, it's kind of fun for me. 
and that's what makes her an expert. So thanks again, Teresa, for joining us. It's always great to see you. Thank you for having me. If you have questions about real estate for Teresa or questions for any of our coastal experts, well, visit the Coastal Experts page. You'll find that at WSAV.com.